All right, so this is the Creator's Unlock. This is number four, and I'm excited about this one because I'm gonna blow up my screen here. I'm gonna be sharing with you um, the top three niches that are going to be best for digital marketing and give you a great you know, run at exactly what you should be doing in these niches, uh, creating your product, the marketing strategy, and I've just got a few slides we got here. Uh, and I'm just going to run through these and show you what these things are and who it's for. And then at the end, I've got a really cool bonus for you. If you stay to the end, I'm going to give you all the resources so that you have this. I'm going to also give you this presentation. Um, so that'll be really cool. And, you know, I'm just really doing this because I absolutely love this space and I want to help you. So um, if you're seeing this and you're not a part of the Creators Unlock, all you have to do is just go to makeonce.com and you can subscribe for free every Saturday. I send you something just like this that'll help you grow your digital business if you want to sell digital products and paid subscription communities, okay? So again, this is the digital gold mines that are available right now, okay? Exploring the top three most profitable online business niches, uh, creating your product and marketing strategy. So by the end of this, you're going to know what those things are. I'm going to go through these things right here. So what we're going to cover is I'm going to uncover those three hottest niches where the money and passion just merge seamlessly in this digital space. And then we're going to deep dive into the sub niches of each of those. So these are mostly the ones that people just overlook. They don't even think about because they're only thinking it only works uh, selling digital products in the making money space or, uh, you know, things like that. And so it's just not true. Matter of fact, a lot of the most profitable ones aren't even in the make money space. Um, so we're going to deep dive into that and then we're going to go and look at 15 realistic course titles for each one of the sub niches. So in each of these top three, I'm going to be giving you the five underneath sub niches for each of those. And then I'm going to give you course titles, the passions, the interests, what these people want, what they need. So we're going to go through that. You'll have everything laid out in front of you. And then we're going to get inside the audience's mind. When I'm working with people inside of Build Lab, which is a program that I have that helps people uh, start, grow, and monetize an online business where they can sell digital products and they can actually create paid subscription programs. Um, inside there, one of the biggest problems people have is they, I don't know my niche. I don't know what they want. I don't know how to talk to them. I don't know how to create my message. So we're going to go into that and we're going to decode your best audiences. What's their desires, their dreams, and their, their deepest pain points. Uh, and then we're going to elevate sales, okay, because I'm going to just make it simple for you. I'm going to give you the number one funnel that's worked for me, okay, that's helped me get over seven figures throughout the years, uh, a tech secret that's going to save you so much time, and then just show you how you can take what you know or what you figure out and turn that into something that can be a real revenue stream for you. So before I get into all this, I want to go through who this is actually for. That way, if you're not one of these people, you can leave and not waste your time. Okay, I appreciate you being here, but I just don't want to waste your time. You're more than welcome to hang out, though. <laughs> okay, so the person this would be for is somebody that's a, an aspiring digital entrepreneur, okay, which is essentially what I was. I, I wanted to work online. I wanted the location freedom. I wanted to be able to make as much as I wanted to make. And I just wanted to do the online thing. I really loved it. I love helping people this way. So you're probably somebody that would want to break into the digital business world. Uh, maybe you have a product idea or you're, you're exploring different uh, niches that are maybe profitable. Or you want to understand how to package your knowledge and your skills. And you want to put those into sellable products and subscription programs. And for if you don't know what a subscription program, it's simply people pay you month after month to have access to you and the com in a community and in your programs. Okay. Uh, it's also for somebody that maybe you're a blogger or a content creator. Okay. So maybe you've already got an online presence uh, with your blog or maybe a YouTube channel or a TikTok or a podcast or whatever it may be, but you haven't monetized it yet. And you're looking for additional ways to do that or ways to do that period. Um, the other person would be an educator, a coach. Okay, I would kind of consider myself that. Um, so, you know, there's this huge rise of online learning. You know, they say it's, it's a 350 billion going on, like literally, you know, six, seven hundred billion dollar industry. A lot of that is really just people that are in uh, corporate, right? They're selling huge 
corporate uh, sales packages to you know train companies and things like that. But even that set aside, this industry is enormous. And so with that coming up and this being such a powerful thing, you know, COVID taught us that you can learn online. COVID taught us that you can make money using the internet even faster. And, and COVID also taught us that people want to work online and they, they don't mind it at all. I mean, people are literally upset that they have to go back to work because they were getting so much done at home. So if you're an educator or a tutor uh, or a coach and you wanna expand your reach beyond just the traditional classroom or just one-on-one -on -one sessions, you know, creating digital courses and resources uh, or sub subscription-based learning communities can be highly profitable for those types of people. So if you're one of them, this can be very powerful for you. Um, or if you're a professional that has expertise or any range of expertise, you don't have to be necessarily a professional as they say, but if you have expertise in something, this can be really powerful for you. So maybe you are an actual indus industry professional, you know, uh, a lawyer or something like that, or, you know, you've, you've went and got a professional badge of approval, um, or you're a consultant, okay, or uh, maybe you're just really, really smart about something and you've gotten a lot of results and you're maybe a hobbyist and you've uh, you've done something so much and so long that you've gotten a certain level of expertise where you could actually help people in those specific fields. And you just want to look, you know, you want to share this with other people and you want to monetize your knowledge. And that's one thing, you know, I really loved the online space. So I, I just spent all my last 15 years studying that and working with people one-on-one -on -one and over the internet and through, you know, multiple course sales and it's just what I love to do. So I, that's where I lean in and teach on this. Okay. So um, if you're somebody like that, it doesn't matter what category it's in, it, you know, you only really need a tr thousand true friends. Okay. If a thousand people gave you 50 bucks a month, probably change your life. Okay. Um, or a tr you're, you're a traditional business. Okay. I talk to a lot of people and that's where I got my nuts and bolts from this whole thing is working with traditional businesses. Um, but a lot of them want to diversify their income or they want to move into the digital space because they don't longer want to have a brick and mortar location or they're just over the traditional space because the profit margins are much lower, whereas online they're much higher. Okay. You're talking 90 plus percent. Okay. Um, you know, maybe you're a gym, okay. A gym owner and you want to do online workout programs and sell to thousands of people or you know, a culinary school, and maybe you want to offer online cooking classes, or you teach uh, English, or you teach, you know, any type of language, frankly. But, you know, these are places where you can take what you're doing in a traditional way and expand it or just move completely into that space online so you have the freedoms that come with that. Or you're a freelancer, okay? You know, maybe you, um, you're good at design or writing or coding or any of the freelance industry options, right? You might want to scale and, and take your income to the next level without having to get more clients. When I first started, I was working with clients in person. I'd go to their business. I'd work on their internet uh, presence and their marketing and get their funnels and lists built. And, you know, I'd do all this stuff. And it just, after a while, it's like, if I wanted to make more, I had to spend more time. And I was like, how do I get out of that? So that's where I found the online space to be just right up my alley because I could make more, I could work with more people all over the world and I didn't have to take on more in-person clients or any clients in the, in the sense of working with somebody one-to-one, -one. I could work one-to-many because I could create something one time, which is where I got the name for the business. I could make something once and I could sell it thousands of times over. So if you're a freelancer and you're feeling like that, this is a great place to be. Um, so you could be selling the digital tools that you use in the sense of how you use them, uh, templates or courses, you know, these are great ways for you to take what you've been doing for people and show them how to do it themselves. Okay. Um, the other one here is if you're a startup or a tech company, you know, if you're a software as a service, which are very popular nowadays, um, you already have a digital product, uh, but maybe you're wanting to optimize it or, uh, you're wanting more strategies to expand into a, maybe a different kind of subscription-based model where it doesn't require so much tech side of things along with what you're doing, okay? So it can be a very powerful model. Uh, we see this all the time, okay? 
a, a perfect example is like let's say ClickFunnels or System.io or something like that. They they're a, they're a SaaS uh, company, but they also sell digital products on the side. And then finally, if you're a marketing professional, all right. So you may be a lot of all of these, <laughs> right? Um, if you're a marketing professional and you want to expand your skill set and you also want to share what you've learned and how you market for others, you know, knowing how to actually create and sell digital products, number one, can make you extremely powerful as a marketer. Uh, and then also, if you are really good at, you know, content marketing or affiliate marketing or digital advertising, these are in demand always skills i mean without traffic people can't sell things so you can take the knowledge you have of how to do that and you can stick that into a course into a, a, a paid subscription program sorry and you can sell memberships to that and help people or you can sell one-off products that could really make a huge difference okay so let's go ahead and jump into uh, the top three hottest niches where just money and passion seem to merge seamlessly so one is education and online learning. Okay, now you could create something that would help corporate companies do better at their job, or you might just be literally in the education space where you're, you know, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, things like that. Um, or you know, if it's any type of education that people are needing or required or have to have to do their job, this is a great place. Okay, so. That's an incredible space. We're gonna go over the niches inside of these. Um, the next one is health and wellness. So where you're you know, helping somebody get into shape or maybe you're helping them with their mindset, uh, their perspectives. Um, you know, There's so many things that are inside of this. I'm gonna to talk to you about the top five. Um, and then software and tech tools. Okay, so software itself, teaching people how to use software. I mean, I do this so much inside of Build Lab. I teach people how to set up their digital program, uh, how to set up their monthly subscription programs, how to use the email automation software, how to use the actual internet itself, um, and the tech tools, right? So things that people have trouble using. Um, there's people out there making seven figures uh, teaching people how to use Excel. So these tools that are necessary for them to grow their business, they want somebody to help them and they'd be willing to pay either monthly or a one-time investment to learn how to do that from the person that knows how, okay? So let's look at the reason why these are actually the top three hottest niches. So education and online learning, I mean, the global shift to e-learning during the COVID um, Thing that went down this is like the main core reason why this one is exploding just because people learned that people can learn online and that people can actually accomplish things using the internet uh, as a source for learning so schools adults professionals anybody that needs or wants skills this is this is a great great place for you because if you can provide that they're looking for it online um, and they want it in the format you know a video Courses, ebooks, quizzes, simulations, live interaction. I my Build Lab program is is like a hybrid, where people can they can either pay and get a lifetime subscription, or they can just pay me monthly. Uh, it's very affordable. But when they're inside of there, I give them videos, I give them courses, I give them you know simulations. We do live calls every single week on Monday and Thursday. We get on Zoom, and I can ask them what's going on they can share their screen we can go through the problem and get it fixed and so to me it's one of my favorite uh it, and it it really is just like a hybrid way of doing it they have a self-paced work as they want to go course but then they can also get inside of the community they can get on the calls ask questions health and wellness i mean just people are getting smarter about this because they're able to access information. I mean, if anything's wrong with you, you just Google it or you ask ChatGPT. So people are getting more conscious about self-care and mental awareness and wellness. And so it's just on the rise because without your health, you know, what is, what is it? You know, you have nothing. <laughs> so the digital health solutions, um, whether it's apps and platforms or you're helping people with diets or you're helping them with trackers and accountability, um, and then personalized experience, right? So using automations and integrations, using AI and using data sets and tools, you can keep track of people differently and give them a really custom personal experience. 
which is invaluable, okay? So pretty uh, easy to understand why this is such a hot niche. And then the software and tech tools, I mean, we're all transforming to digital, right? Uh, it improves efficiency. Uh, it, automation gives us our time back. Um, so, you know, if you have these diverse applications, right, where you've got these different productivity tools, uh, you can help people use communication tools like the one I'm going to be giving you some tools at the end of this, like, for instance, what I'm using right now to record this video, how I can do all this stuff. I'm going to actually give you all of that for free. Um, this whole presentation as it is, is a PDF that you should have uh, in the email and on the page here. And then the subscription models. So people, you know, they want a consistent monthly recurring revenue stream. Well, in the software tech and tools, those things constantly change. Those things constantly get updated. So they can pay you an affordable monthly fee. You keep them up to date, you keep them going and they know what is up, right? So, and this is important. And for most people, you know, to spend a hundred bucks a month to know what's going on with everything and know how to use it better than anybody else. It's it just, it's a no brainer for them. Okay. So let's look at uh, the top five niches inside of, um, or the top five sub niches. And then these are also the target audiences that would go with these. Okay. So in the education and online learning space is the first one we're going to talk about. You've got uh, STEM education for kids. So this is one of the sub niches that's really popular right now. That's very profitable. And STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So your target audience is parents, teachers, children, age five to 14. Okay. Parents are homeschooling. Parents are, you know, so involved with their children at this time, you know, when it comes to growing and learning and figuring out the things, they need to actually know what to teach the kids as well. There's also teachers that need to stay up to date on these things. Uh, so, you know, and then obviously the children. Your course title, okay, I wanted to just give you an idea of what a course title would be for this, but, you know, Fundamentals of Coding for Kids, you know, an interactive journey with Python. You sell this to a teacher or a parent, they transfer that information to the children. Um, you know, this could be a very simple course that you could create if you're very good at coding. Um, soft, soft skills development. So you can go Google hard versus soft skills, but at the end of the day, your soft skills are basically more behavioral type skills. Okay. So your target audience is, um, you know, professionals, college students, job seekers, they need to know how to do these things, right? They need to know how to communicate effectively. They need to know how to create uh, scenarios and ask questions and do all these different things. So you could have a course that's titled master the art of effective communication in the workspace. Okay. So somebody that can effectively communicate in their workspace can get raises. They can completely change their entire, you know, pay structure if they're really good at working with people and teams. So again, if you're good at that and you know how to, you know, effectively communicate, this is a great opportunity for you. Um, digital marketing. Okay. So entrepreneurs, uh, target audience, entrepreneurs, marketing professionals, small business owners, People need marketing. I mean, and if you're not online marketing, then you're not marketing at all. Right? You know, um, this is where people are. It's where you and I are right now. So you could have a course, you know, the comprehensive guide to SEO in 2023, boosting your web traffic. You could teach people how to market on social media, uh, you know, email marketing. There's so many different facets of that. Uh, if you're one, if you're a person like that, then you already know. But, you know, don't overthink this stuff. A simple one hour program you could sell for a couple hundred bucks. If you get a thousand people to buy that in a year or three people a day, roughly, that's a couple hundred thousand dollars. So uh, it doesn't have to be this huge audience or the, you know, these grandiose things. Um, you can do a lot with a little. And if you just focus on having a thousand true fans, because those thousand people all have somebody that also is into it, that's their friend. Now you've instantly got 2000. So home gardening and sustainable living, uh, this is another great one. Your target audience is homeowners, urban dwellers, environmental enthusiasts. Uh, the course title could be Urban Gardening 101, Grow Your Own Food in Small Spaces. My mom, she's amazing at canning, uh, preserving food. She even knows how, how to like, you know, shop a certain way to get the best deals. And, um, you know, she owned a floral business for many, many years, still does. And, you know, she 
could teach somebody how to start their own floral business, or she could teach the techniques that she used in the floral business to homeowners that want to have nicer flowers or whatever it may be. She does the raised garden beds. You know, she can teach somebody that. She's been doing it literally for over a decade plus, you know. Well, she's been in business for several decades, but that's something that you can do as well. Um, and these are actual, these aren't just made up niches. These are actual top niches, the top five sub niches in this. Okay. And you've got your audiences right there. So you can research those audiences and you can take those course titles and you could rework them to make it make sense for you. And then language learning with tech tools. So target audience would be, um, travelers, professionals, uh, culture enthusiasts, uh, course title, Accelerated Spanish Learning with AI from Beginner to Fluent, which would be something great for me right now. I'm in Cozumel, Mexico. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's awesome. You know, we're here, and that's what I love about this business. I'll just show you a little sneak peek. Where I'm sitting up here on the 15th floor where, um, you know, I'm able to work with you here, and, and, you know, we're renting this place, but being able to speak Spanish would be extremely valuable to me, right? So, um, you know, these are things that you can actually uh, go and make money online with. Okay, so health and wellness, you've got mental health and mindfulness, right? So people that are facing stress, anxiety, seeking personal growth, you could have a title, Mindfulness Mastery, Techniques to Reduce Stress and Enhance Well-Being. I'm going to move through these quicker. I don't want to waste a ton of your time here. Uh, home workouts and fitness, you know, people that are fitness enthusiasts, individuals without a gym or they, can't, they don't have gym access, maybe they're travelers, busy professionals. You could have a title, 30 Days to Core Strength, Home Workouts for a Toned Midsection. So you might say, well, yeah, but there's tons of things out there like that. That does not matter. That does not matter. You need, there's 8 billion people on the planet, okay? You need 1,000 true fans. So it doesn't matter who else is doing it. It just matters if you're going to do it and are you going to help people. Just like right now, there's a bazillion people that teach how to create courses and subscription programs, but you're with me right now watching this, okay? That's what I want you to take into account here. It's not about anything other than who you're going to help. Okay, there's enough for everybody. Uh, Plant-based diet and nutrition, so maybe vegans, vegetarians, health conscious individuals. You could create a title, The Plant-Based Revolution, Nutrition and Recipe Guide for a Healthier You. All right, sleep hygiene and optimize, uh, optimization. So people that have sleep disorders, busy professionals, parents, Okay, so you could have a course, The Science of Sleep, Techniques to Optimize Rest and Boost Productivity. And you could take that even further by, you know, throwing their name in there. Techniques for busy professionals so they can optimize rest and boost productivity while traveling. Okay, so you, the more specific you get, obviously, the more you're going to be able to just hyper in on those people and, and become, you, you actually stick out more because you're very specific to those things. Okay. The first seven figures that I made was with the martial arts space. I was helping martial arts business owners learn how to do online business and marketing. So because I was a specialist in that, I could charge more and it was very easy for me to target my people because they were martial arts business owners. And so everything that I created was, hey, if you're a martial arts business owner, X, Y, Z. And it was so simple that way. And then you can move in and expand as the market pushes you. Uh, and, and, and requires you to because they want more. So holistic healing, alternative medicine. So your target audience is uh, individuals that are seeking non-traditional health remedies, wellness enthusiasts, okay? So a, tor a, a course title could be like the power of aromatherapy, unlocking natural healing with essential oils, okay? Or any facet of that. So these are the top five sub niches there. And then software and tech tools. So data analytics and visualization. Target audience would be businesses, marketing professionals, students, and your course title could be Data Visualization with Tableau. So transforming numbers into insightful stories. This is where you're helping somebody use a tool. You're helping them and teaching them how to do that. Um, remote work and collaboration tools. So your audience would be remote teams, freelancers, entrepreneurs. I'm remote right now. Um, and the course title, Maximizing Remote Collaboration. Okay, best practices for Slack and Zoom. Okay, I use Zoom all the time, every single week. Okay, uh, cybersecurity and privacy. So you, your our audience would be IT professionals, general public, business, and then your course title: Modern Cybersecurity, protecting your personal and business data in the digital age. Okay, there's tons of people that are worried about these things. You could help them if you know how to do that. 
uh, augmented reality, virtual reality development, so game developers, tech enthusiasts, businesses looking to integrate these things. You could have an intro to VR development, okay, and you could uh, building immersive experiences with Unity, okay. So again, helping them use these tools, softwares, and programs, and then productivity and time management software, right? So professionals, students, freelancers, you could have mastering time management, leveraging tools like Trello and Notion. I use both. I use Notion every single day. So, and a lot of people have trouble with these tools. They don't know how to use them. Therefore, they don't get to use them. Therefore, they're held up and they're held back. Okay. Okay, so um, let's look at the, these are, now I'm going to go through these same niches here again. These are the top five niches, but we're going we're gonna to look at the pain points, needs, and interests. Okay, so the pain points here, um, you know, the difficulty understanding abstract concepts, you know, lack of engagement, uh, fear of math or coding. And, you know, I'm not going to, because I'm going to let you download this, I'm not going to waste your time going through all these. We're going to jump back into the other, but... What I want you to do is see that, you know, here I've got the pain points that they're having. Okay, when you when you go to do your marketing online, which we're going to talk about here in a second, you you reach out to them using organic content or paid ads, whatever you want to use. Um, I primarily focus on uh, just organic content because it stays out there, it keeps working for me over and over and over forever. But you reach out to them and you say, hey, if you're having trouble, you know, understanding these uh, abstract concepts inside of you know science or technology whatever whatever whichever one you went into of the stem okay or hey if you have a lack of engagement or you have a fear of math or coding okay that's how you get their attention or you know if you their needs right so they need interactive lessons they need age appropriate content uh, foundational learning to aid in future education uh, interest, you know, fun activities, games, multimedia content, stories. When you know these things about your people, okay, because obviously back here we talked about who the people were, but when you know the, the pain points, the needs and interests, this is where you can reach into their soul and grab their attention and get them to look at what it is that you're offering. Okay, so I want you to keep that in mind, and that's why I'm giving you these things because so many people say, well, I don't know what to do. I don't know what content. I don't know what to say. This is what you say. When you can recite somebody's pain to them or their needs and interests to them, you'll have their attention and then you can start working with them and showing them how to do these things. And all of a sudden you've become extremely potent and powerful because while everybody else is just saying, hey, I've got this thing, you can talk about the actual problem they're facing. Okay. So again, I'm not going to go through all these just because you can go in there and read them, but each one of these that we just went through, uh, a minute ago with all of the different you know types of sub niches I went into each sub niche and I put pain points needs and interests in here okay so uh, they're all there for you you can get in there and understand what's holding them back which will help you create content so that people can actually um, you know listen to you because you got their attention okay so we're gonna talk about the number one funnel and tech secret to, to actually doing this because so many people you know, overcomplicate this. You might be overcomplicating it yourself. You might be thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I'm not good enough to do this. Like, how could I do this, right? Oh, it's so intense. Well, I'm going to show you the funnel and I'm actually at the end here, I'm going to give you this funnel that we're going to go over uh, for free. Okay. So the number one funnel, you have a landing page and a sales page. So landing page, sales page. And if you look at these pages, they're very simple pages. Okay. So, you know, this, this page here, it's literally a headline, a subheadline, some bullet points, and a button. When they click that button or they click the image, it's just a picture of a video, but when they click play, because they're going to want to play it, it pops up this box that says, you know, unlock the free training, and they put their name and email in there. Then they go to the next page where the actual video is there that you proposed to them over on the first page, and then they can watch that video where you create a video sales letter and actually sell them. Uh, your course and program, essentially sharing with them what it is that you do and why you matter. And then they can click to either A, schedule a session to talk to you, okay, through Calendly or something, or um, they can simply just click over and go to the third page, which is um, the order page. So this is where they you connect that page with Stripe, uh, and I'll give you all that stuff here in a minute. 
Uh, but you, you connect that order page with Stripe. It'll allow you to take payment over the Internet. And then once they pay for the program, uh, they land on this receipt page where you simply just share with them, hey, here's how to enter into the program. Uh, they can click there, set up their profile, and on they go. They get what they paid for, and they can start going through it. So that then is uh, attached to a 30-day email automation follow-up. This is where everybody messes up, by the way. They don't have a good follow-up. They don't do email. So when somebody opts in here, they go into an email list. I'll kind of blow this up here a little bit. Um, they go into an email list, and then they you know, get an email. And that email reminds them to go back and watch the video because most people they are busy and they don't watch it the first time. So that email sends them back. And then these emails, in between here, there's a little sequence that happens. It says, you know, did they buy, yes or no? If they did buy, it does not send any more emails. If they did not buy, then it sends another email. And it talks to them about one of their pain points or interests or needs. And then it sends them back to the page where they can buy the program. And it continues that cycle. And most people need, you know, multiple exposures, you know, 20 plus exposures before they're going to buy something. So that's why, you know, I tell you just set up a 30 day email automation and send people back to that same page where your video sales letter continues to sell them um, and, and helps them understand why you matter. Okay. So this is the easiest funnel. Uh, I'm going to give this funnel to you. So no worries there. Um, and then the, this tech secret, you know, everybody's so worried about the tech side of things. And how do I create my first course? How do I create this thing? Well, I'm going to give you the program that I'm using right now. And what I'm doing with you right now is exactly how you're going to create it. All I did was create a series of slides that have information on it. And I'm talking to you about them, teaching you what they are and helping you. That's exactly what you do. There's nothing techy about this. I literally have text on the screen, okay? So you don't have to trip out about text. And as you get, you know, using these tools, you'll get better and better with them, okay? So what I would say is your first version, let's just make your course less than an hour, okay? This is gonna be way less than an hour right now. And it's very helpful. Like what I'm sharing with you right now, if you just took it and ran with it, you could actually start earning. So just create 10 videos, or in this case, I've got one video here, okay? And each of those 10 videos, you could break them up into five minutes each. So if I was gonna turn this into a course, I could break this up into 10 videos that were five minutes each, right? And no tech or no fancy nothing, okay? You're just literally in those five, or those 10 minute, those 10 videos that are five minutes each, you're literally just taking people from point A to point B. Just get them, to the transformation, get them the answer. So if you look here, okay, you're just getting people, everybody has a current situation. You're in one, I'm in one, we're always in one. And people have a desired situation. You're just taking them from here to here, that's how you get paid. If they could do it themselves, they would do it themselves. But they can't, and so they need somebody to help them make that transformation, and get over there. So there's steps involved, right? These are your videos. Okay, your 10 videos, five minutes each. So, um, you know, the way I lay things out is, um, you know, I just, the first, the first few videos, they're foundational videos. The next ones are more like system and process videos. And then the final ones are like optimization, growth, execution. And I just break them down. Like, you know, first video, it's like module one. Here's the three things you need to do, right? And I just follow the rules of three. Now I teach this in depth in my Build Lab program. You can go to makeonce.com and sign up. Uh, you can get a lifetime access, or you can, you know, do uh, monthly whatever works for you. It's very affordable. It's the price of an energy drink each day. <laughs> um, but I break down how to do this: how to set up your pillars, how to put out your raw materials, and your, you know, how to set your funnels up, and how to go deep and everything. Obviously, we don't have time to do that here. Um, but that's. I'm showing you, you know, this is what we do. You know, there's a ton of stuff in there, but you know, you're going to create something where you're taking them on this journey. So your first one, just offer it for free. People are like, well, I don't know if they're going to buy it. Don't worry about that. Offer your first one for free. Version one, 10 videos, five minutes each, nothing fancy. Offer it for free. If people won't take the free one, then you need to work on what you're offering them. Make it better. If they 
um, do take the free one and they get excited about it, get the feedback from that first program, and then create version two and just create it affordable. Sell it for fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars one time or monthly, whatever. And then you can move up to the other stages of higher ticket and things like that. Now you're going to hear a lot of people say, "Well, high ticket's better than low ticket." And -da 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 -da. listen, if you can't give something away for free, you're not going to be able to sell something either. And if you can't sell something for fifty dollars, you're not going to sell it for five thousand. Just keep that in mind. So everybody starts somewhere. You have to. There's stages to things, and the longer you wait, the longer it takes. Okay, So just get it recorded. I'm going to give you the software that I'm using here, which is this one. Uh, it's Loom, and it's very awesome. Okay, it just It's so easy. It's instant. It gives you the, the video right away. It's so easy to use. You can record your screen. It's extremely affordable. It's like $10. Bucks. Um, so you know, just do what I'm doing right now. Okay. Okay, so the marketing strategy. Choose one platform. In the beginning here, just choose one platform. Okay, you can get to high six and seven figures with one platform. Okay, you're either going to be doing, maybe you're better writing, maybe you're better at video. I like to do both. And just pick a platform that you like the most. Okay, I, I happen to love YouTube and TikTok. Okay. Um, I post on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, you know, threads. I post on all of them, but my favorite, if I had to pick one, I'd pick YouTube. If I had to, you know, if I can pick two, I'd pick TikTok and YouTube. Um, so just choose one platform. Keep it simple in the beginning. Just choose one platform. Get good at that. Then it's easy to go to another platform. You just keep doing what you're doing on the one. Right? Post a minimum of three times per day. Number one, you need the practice. Number two, it's just more opportunity for people to find you and the way you're going to post all right just spread it out throughout the day um, there's really four main writing styles you have actionable I learned this from uh, ship 30 for 30 the Dickie Bush and Nicholas Cole um, there's the here's how and there's multiple ones inside of my uh, build lab program I break all these down and show you all the different subtopics and then I just don't have time for it here I just want to give you the overview but you can talk basically how to, you know, aspirational, yes you can style type things, uh, anthropological, uh, you know, here's why things work, or you could say, you know, when you're posting, these are, th these are how you come up with topics, right? Um, you can break things down, educate, you can entertain, challenge people, empathize, you're going to do all of these things. And where you get the actual topics and content is you're going to be doing it in this framework, but you're just going to pull it out of your program. Okay, you just simply pull it out of your course. So whatever you wrote in your course, just pull something out of it and talk about that. You wouldn't talk about anything else, you know. Um, and then engage one hour a day. So find the top people in the space that you went into on social media and engage with their posts and add value to their post. Not spam, not go in there and be silly or whatever, just add value. Whatever they're talking about, what did you learn from it and how can you add value there? And then go in and answer questions in their comments. Some of these creators, um, they're so big, they can't even get to all the questions in the space. They can't even answer all the questions in the comments, but you can. And also you can take those questions and use those to create more content. Because obviously if people are asking questions about that, they want answers. So you can go in and do that. And then just pick 10 of those and stay focused on them. Top, find the you know, top 10 creators in your specific niche and start learning about them. And just focus on working in the comments at least an hour a day. Get in there and engage. I do a lot of that over at Twitter. Uh, but any, any platform I'm on, you just go down in the comments, read and learn about what's going on, add value, answer questions, and help people. Okay? So um, this PDF that I sent you, you can click here and get the recording software that I'm using right now. All right, um, You can start for free on all this stuff. And then that VSL and course funnel, I just have a one-click funnel. I already built it for you. you got to take me out of it, put you in it. Uh, but it's absolutely free right here. Okay, Just click that, go over there, sign up for free. It's all free. And then finally, if you want me to actually help you, if you want me to take you through the steps you know, and give you 
live calls each week and you want to join a community of other people just like you wanting to learn how to do this stuff, um, you're more than welcome to join us. It's very affordable and it's, you know, my passion. I love this stuff. I've never, you know, done anything else really <laughs> uh, outside of this stuff. Once I dialed it in 15 years ago when I got into it, I just, that was it. I knew this was for me. And so um, that's what I do every single day, all day. I help people, you know, start, grow, and monetize an internet business. And if you want step-by-step -step training on everything that we talked about today, if you want actual live, personal, you know, one-to-one -one Zoom action with me uh, every single week, twice a week, Monday and Thursday, uh, I record those sessions. I add them to the member area. You can share your screen. You can work with me. Uh, and other people, we have an incredible group of people, several, we have almost 400 people now in our group, um, you know, and I've helped thousands over the years, okay? Uh, I'm just incredibly passionate about this. This is the best, one of the best training products I've ever created. So um, I'm very excited to share that with you, and it's just only getting better and better and better. So uh, I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you next week's Creators Unlock. And again, if you haven't, um, you know, joined that email list, then make sure you get over there. I just send you an email every Saturday with stuff just like this for free. Okay. So I believe in you take action, keep it simple, and I'll see you in the next one.